This assignment is the Histograms 6.7.L2 assignment. And this, is, this video is for those who want to hear someone read the problems to you. Page 2. Do now. Frog jumps again. Remember that frog jumping competition? Here is the data of all the frogs in a table and in a new type of graph we call a histogram. Here's the histogram on the left and the data on the bottom left. What do you notice and wonder about this representation? So what do you notice about the, about the histogram? What connections can you make between the table and the graph? Feel free to mark up the graph and or type in the box below. Noticings and wonderings. That is page two. Page seven. Task number one, making histograms. You are going to use the paper volleyball data from last week to make a histogram with bins of size 10. The data given to you on the right are the numbers of paper volleys that 20 Viz Valley Middle School students got last week. Here's the data right here on the top right. Letter A. First, answer the questions below to help you prepare for your histogram. How many students got 0 to 9 volleys? How many students got 10 to 19 volleys? 20 to 29 volleys, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59, 60 to 69, 70 to 79, 80 to 89. Right side, letter B. Using your answers to the questions in part A, create the histogram below for the data. And here's your data again, and this is where you start drawing your histogram. That's page seven. Page nine, task number two, larger bins, English. Here's your histogram from task one. And so your drawing will show up here. Right side, letter A. Now, using the same data, make another histogram. But this time, the bins are size 20. Remember to ask yourself, how many from 0 to 19? And you'll put it here. 0 to 19. 20 to 39. And you'll put it right here. 40 to 59. And you'll put it right here. That is page 9. Page 11. Task 3. Comparing histograms. Your histograms will show up here and will show up here if you did the work on the previous pages. Right side, now that you have made two different histograms for the same data, answer the following questions. Letter A, which one has skinnier bars? Why? The histogram with bins of size blank has, has skinnier bars because. Letter B, which one has taller bars? Why? A sentence frame is, the histogram with bins of size blank has taller bars because. Letter C. What would happen if we made another histogram for the same data, but use bins of size 5? If we made another histogram using bins of size 5, then... That's your sentence frame. And this is page 11. Page 14, exit ticket, five minutes. Number one, according to the histogram on the left, how many total frogs jumped between 230 inches and 260 inches? Number two, what would happen to the histogram if another frog was entered and it jumped 213 inches? Number three, 
how does a histogram help you to understand data? And that is page 14, and that is the end of this video. Take care.